Greetings. Today we're going to take on something ambitious and hopefully this is the start of something big. You may have heard about Elon Musk's method of learning any subject several times faster than normal, known as the semantic tree. However, he doesn't get into specifics about how to do that because obviously he doesn't have time to create trees to teach other people. Maybe his companies have some internal material that he uses to teach employees, but it doesn't quite exist freely on the web. And I did a YouTube search and there's very little content about that. And to give you an idea of what the semantic tree is, here is an image of a fractal tree and any subject can be simplified down to the core, the trunk and the roots, but mainly the trunk. And then after that, the primary branches of knowledge, which are the thick branches, and then the secondary branches after that, which are thinner branches, and then smaller factoids, which are the little twigs and leaves. And organizing any subject this way can make learning that subject not just much, much faster, but will improve your retention. You won't forget what you learned. And current educational institutions are not good at doing that. And if you recall from this video up here, I predict the downfall of the existing educational paradigm or the K through 12 education as well as universities because it is horrendously expensive, it is exclusionary, it is outdated, it survives on a scarcity mentality. Some people on the web are trying to create their own courses but those are still just of somewhat lower cost. Across YouTube you see many YouTubers saying here's my course to teach you X and it costs $2,000. Fine that's cheaper than a university but there is no recognized accreditation associated with that and for that reason the course is a bit too expensive and it still somewhat depends on scarcity mentality. I want to change that by creating these semantic trees for a number of different subjects and enlisting other people to do the same. And hopefully this is the start of a movement that lowers the cost of education in terms of both time and monetary expense, not by twice or three times, which isn't really a disruption, but by a factor of a hundred or a thousand or 10,000. And then you get educational technology through there that helps. In the atom age, according to atom principles, this is in fact to be expected. It is resonant with the principles of technology and economics because there's so much good content out there that is available for free or low cost, both on YouTube and elsewhere on the web. It just needs to be organized into a tree. Now I'm someone who teaches at Stanford University, so I do have teaching experience at the most elite of institutions, and I'm going to do this and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Now to explain more about what Elon Musk's tree method is, we shall go to the Art of Improvement channel for their description. Elon Musk has broken through that barrier with learning techniques that have proven successful not just once, but time and time again. His two rules for how to learn anything faster can be implemented by anyone at any time, including you. Here's how. When it comes to the average entrepreneur, Musk claims that they often don't break through their perceived limits and try to learn beyond their current capacity. They don't know how to outline their information in a way that leads to further revelation. One bit of advice, it is important to view knowledge as sort of a semantic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves, details, or there is nothing for them to hang on to. Rule number one. Make sure you're building a tree of knowledge. When it comes to learning, there is a difference between material that ends up hanging from a branch and the material that makes up the base of the trunk of your tree. It's the periphery versus the central. Musk is a master of understanding what is at the core of each of the sectors his entrepreneurial ventures sit in. He starts there, ensuring that he has the best possible grasp on the trunk material before moving off into the minutiae of the branches and the leaves. Many of us do the opposite. We load up on periphery facts while never fully understanding how or why they connect back to the trunk. That's not learning, it's cramming. The result of our efforts is a tree with a toothpick trunk and an overload of teeming branches, threatening to snap off as we try to cram one more idea or thought within our brains. If you want to learn anything faster, you need to start with the materials that make up the trunk. It might be a tad slower at the onset, but without a sturdy trunk, you won't have the base to support any additional learning and skill. Rule number two, you can't remember what you can't connect. He started with solid roots and dense trunks, 
And then, as he began to grow his knowledge upward, he began connecting branches and leaves together with other branches and leaves from other trees. Most learners today are not master gardeners, but stick collectors. We walk around life, picking up tidbits here and tidbits there, until our arms are full of sticks. Once we have a good bunch of sticks, we burn them. We think the size of our fires equals the size of our learning, but fires burn out. Musk plants trees in rich soil that grow to be thick and abundant centers of learning. You can do the same. You just need to embrace his two rules. Build the trunk first, then work tirelessly on making connections. It might take you a bit to get the hang of it. You might actually feel like you're learning slower than you did previously. What you're actually doing is building the foundation for exponential growth. If you want to learn anything faster, try the Elon Musk approach. So that was the general methodology as described by Elon Musk. But what does not exist on the internet yet are specific examples of semantic trees, where someone who knows a subject very well has assembled a tree under the structure that was detailed in that Art of Improvement video, where some practical subject is simplified down into a tree model. Because here's the thing, I think it's pretty difficult for most people to make their own tree, but if someone knows a subject very well, they can make a tree about a subject that many others can benefit from because the tree that is made can link to other educational resources, both on YouTube as well as elsewhere in the internet, because all the necessary information exists online for free and multiple versions of the same information. It just has to be aggregated and structured into this tree type format. Now, a lot of YouTubers are trying to sell courses where they charge $2,000 for a course and they hope that 500 people buy the course and they make $1 million. I'm not interested in doing things like that because I would rather disrupt the educational institution paradigm that exists in the world today. And the gigantic costs that are associated with schools and colleges of today is very, very outdated. This is 2022 and all necessary information for basic education is available for free or very low cost online. So it's high time that there were formal structures created to accelerate learning. And as a result, it shouldn't take 1,000 or 2,000 hours to learn a certain subject. Within structures like the semantic learning tree, perhaps someone can learn the same subject in 30 or 50 or 60 hours. Now, I know about 40 subjects very well and I could make that many semantic trees. I've already made one for paleontology, which you can see in this clip over here and will also be visible at the end of this video. And I have another one for astronomy that is ready that I'm going to make. And when that is ready, I'm going to retroactively put that in this link up here, but only after it's ready. Now, if you hate the fact that college is so expensive and it operates on a scarcity based model and that a college degree is seen as an entry ticket to the workforce and that these educational institutions actually operate on a scarcity based model, even though society says that we should get as many people educated as possible and they don't see the contradiction in that, then join me on this journey. I'm going to make a couple of trees. I already made one and I'm about to make another one pretty soon. But if you know a subject very well, spend a few hours and try and make a semantic learning tree of your own. I will feature it on this channel and it doesn't have to be the best tree in the world. It just has to be a starter for someone to use and make a better tree off of that. Eventually there should be multiple trees per subject so that anyone can partake in the tree based on which instructor style they like the most. And we're a community of over 1200 subscribers here. So I would really like if someone put in the time and effort to make a tree, but I am making trees. And I want this to inspire others to make these trees because in doing so, we are increasing the accessibility of education, not just in cost, but in terms of simplicity of structure that enables a much more rapid intake of knowledge as described in that Art of Improvement video through Elon Musk's approach to knowledge. So join me on this journey. If you like this type of content, I encourage you to hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.